Okay, this stresses me out. Picking colors at random stress me out. Here's my container. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get started. Uh... Hi guys, it's Cats from K Cats Arts. Welcome back. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And my current ones, much love sent out to all of you. If you are new to this channel and checking it out for the first time, please consider hitting the subscribe button below and subscribing and note and hitting the notification bell so that you're aware of when the next video helps. I do reviews, collaborations, art, drawings, coloring pages, whatever it might be that I feel like I need to do, I do it on this channel. So subscribe. So today I am doing a three marker challenge, but with a twist. Sorry, I have my other camera set up here so that you can see the action happening. So here are my markers. I have a hoo hoo markers here and I've done a review on it. Check the link below or just go through the list of my videos and you'll see the hoo hoo, -hoo markers. They are amazing. So I'm going to pick three random markers. They all are all mixed up in here. I have taken out all of the colors, um, including black because I don't think that's fair. I took out all the colors like in terms of my grays and they're all sitting here so we're gonna pick three random markers previously to this video i did a review on these markers the studio tips from dollarama the fine tips and um the big marker brush markers and an interesting thing i found out was they don't blend the markers when you're using a hoo hoo like when you're outlining fine liners that is amazing for a dollar store product that's amazing so i thought i would do a separate video for because normally when i do a review i do a picture with it but i decided to do it in a separate video because i thought let's do a three marker challenge with it and then match the marking markers with the fine liners so that we get a different unique look okay so here we go okay not looking Oh my gosh, this stresses me out so much when I need to pick markers. Okay, okay, I'm not looking, I promise you. Three markers. Oh my god, I'm so scared because I don't want to pick stupid colors, right? Okay, sorry, I'm hitting the other camera, I know I am. Okay, I'm going one, so this one, two, oh my god, I'm so scared, three. Oh yeah! I locked out. So these are my colors. I have 65. Oop, let me let me move my big marker bin here. So 65, 26, and 28. Do you see that? So I locked out, but at the same time, I kind of hurt myself based on it because these markers. I don't have it in my fine liners, but that's okay. So I'll show you what the colors look like. So 26, 28, ooh, they actually go really well together. So 26, 28, can I see that? Okay, and 65, ooh, 65 is a bright, where is it? Down there, that way, that one. And then that's what they look like on my tan paper, 65, 26, 28. So I think I'm going to be working on white today. And I think I'm going to do watercolors as well, just so I can get a gradient in it. I don't know. We'll see. It's a three marker challenge. So based on my swatches that I had did in my other video, I think I can use this one and this one for the blue. And then coming to the face color, I think I really liked how this pink looked. So I think I might stay there with pink features, which was this one. I think I like that. And then black. For, of course like eyelashes and stuff so yeah three marker challenge is a go
for staying for the full video. Oh my goodness. I know I do this in every video because I get so excited when I'm able to find products that are like so affordable. These markers, I didn't use the brush markers, um, but they are from the same company and I did do the review in my previous video just before this video. These are from Dollarama, which is a dollar store here in Canada. So you can see this 12 pack was four bucks and then a 14 pack was of these fine liners was, was, I have like my desk all messy here, 350. Okay, so they come like this. It's a studio brand and they are worth it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, as well as in that review, they work with Copics or a hoo hoo marker or watercolors. The only downfall is if you're doing the fine liners, just keep in mind that if you are using watercolors, they are going to bleed. So you're gonna to have to do it after. Only if you wanted to do that effect during your thing, which I did. So this is how it turned out. I'm in love with her. I totally stepped out of the box, one, because I did it on white. I did do it on a watercolor paper. And if you look at watercolor paper, most watercolor papers, they have like the tooth side, you know, that has like the, the grit, like the, the fibers you see, especially if you're using cold press, you'll see the fibers. I don't know if you can see that. So that is the normal side. I did it on the opposite side and I found out that trick in one of my coloring book group streams kind of thing. And I thought, I never knew you could do that. So if you flip it over, the grain is not there or less noticeable, but you can still use it as watercolor paper. So I took full advantage of this. I love, love, love this piece of butter so much. I think I'm going to call her bubblegum girl because, you know, the bubbles in the background, they just run me bubblegum. Um, I really lucked out on my three colors, which were, again, 26, 28, and 65. 65 was the, the darker one, which I was afraid of using it. And I did do the outline originally. And then I used, um, because I wanted to use my Dollarama markers in here so I wanted to get colors close enough so that I could do you know the outer pink shade instead of doing the typical pencil that I do or the typical black that I do but I did end up using black because I'm drawing to that I like that like cartoony kind of style scratchiness kind of happening there I think this piece turned out so super cute. If you guys are interested in getting a copy of this, please contact me. Um, I'm planning to do Patreon as well. I'm planning to add this onto my Patreon so that you get it. Now, I know there are different levels of Patreon where you do um, a certain fee and you get this digital print, you do this fee and you get this digital print and if you get to the higher tier, you get this and this and this. I have no time to do all of that. So I think I'm going to set one set fee, which is going to be super, super low so that more people subscribe to my Patreon as well. Again, I will make sure to make one. It's not going to be at the end of this video. If it is, I will link it below. I think I'm going to do like a super small fee, maybe like five bucks a month or something like that so that you can get to see all my videos as they happen. Um, as well as you'll get to pick out maybe, I don't know, two or three prints a month. I don't know. We'll see. And it'll be available to everybody. So it won't be like an excessive amount where you're doing $5 all the way up to $50 or $100 that I've seen other people do. I think it's not fair. That's me personally. But if you can do it, by all means. So I figured I would let everybody have a chance to be able to join Patreon and get the same rewards as everybody else. I think everybody is supporting me that way, so they should be able to get what everybody else gets. So this will be definitely on my Patreon if you are interested in getting this. Contact me otherwise um, before I set up Patreon, but she's so super cute and I really love her. Thank you guys for tuning in again you are new here hit that subscribe button please it helps me out tremendously it helps me get new sponsors more videos out to you um more products to review and i have the collaboration 
that you guys have been asking over and over again. When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Because not only do I get messages here on YouTube, I get messages on my Instagram, which is at kcatsart. So I'll insert it here so that you can see what it's like. Um, yeah, I get so many messages on there asking me to review different products. And I was able to collaborate with this company again. And I say again, so you can kind of look through my previous videos and see which company am I talking about. But you guys have requested and it is coming up. I swear it will be coming up probably in a few videos from now, probably next weekend. Ooh, next weekend I'm doing something. I have a birthday party to go to. Maybe the weekend after, I'm not sure, but I promise you it will be worth the wait. So hit that subscribe button so that you're aware of it. It's a huge, huge collaboration. And I was so lucky enough for this company sending me this product. Oh my goodness. Like it is so hard for me to see it sitting there. Like it's literally sitting beside me, but I can't use it yet. It's so hard because I needed a special adapter to hook it up. So that's a clue. I need a special adapter to hook it up and I don't have that adapter. So I have to wait till my next pay unless the money fairy comes somehow <laughs> and donates it to me because yeah, I need this adapter, which is kind of poopy. So I will make sure to add that in the comments of a con for that. But anyways, but it's going to be fabulous because I haven't used it yet. Like I said, I haven't opened it. It's just sitting there. And I want to tell you guys what it is. I won't. So like below, subscribe, and watch my future videos so you're aware of when the next collaboration is coming up, I promise. Um, and I'll let you know when Patreon happens. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to be doing live stream. I'm going to be doing testing over the next few days to see how live stream works. If you happen to log in, I would love that. If I don't understand what's happening and I see you guys and I can't respond, I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I'm trying to figure out how live stream works on YouTube and I will bring you, be bringing you a live stream. I also will be part of a live stream coloring book um, theme kind of thing. I think it's Disney princesses. I'm not sure exactly, but it happens from August the 23rd until August 25th. So make sure to tune in for that. There will be a whole list of people doing live streams one after another, and I'm going to be part of that. It'll be my first live stream in terms of coloring book. I don't know if that will be my first live stream before I do my testing. We'll see what happens. But anyways, thank you guys for showing me all your love. You know I love you always. And just remember, one life, one love, one purpose. Go out today and do your art and never let anybody stop you from doing your dreams and coming up with art on the top of your mind. And just keep on practicing. I promise, guys. I promise. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to schedule this and pencil it in. I'm going to show you my previous art, which was is about three or four years old. Four years now. Because we're 2019. Four years ago. That's when I started officially drawing, drawing. And I loved my art back then. And my art is completely completely different and it's always changing I'm always learning some new technique or some new way of doing like lips like more poutier um the more you practice the better I promise you the better your art is going to get and people often say that you're born with the talent yeah you have that creative edge in you but I promise you, anybody can become an artist. If that is what your dream is, you have to pursue it. You have to practice it every day. It just doesn't come naturally. You just don't pick up a pencil and you're like, oh, and it magically appears this perfect image. If you do, man, oh my gosh, you are the next Picasso and the next Van Gogh and the next whatever it might be. But you have to work at your craft. You have to get better. Like people don't just start playing the piano besides Beethoven, I guess, but um, it's learned. 
It's a learned technique. It's muscle memory. I know you've heard it probably in everybody's videos, but it's absolutely true. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. You are going to have those horrible, horrible days where you're drawing and it's like, what in the world am I drawing? Because in here is not what's coming on the paper. But I promise you, you will get there. I promise, 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 just practice. I didn't get to where I am right now if I didn't practice. And I practice pretty much every day. In the last month, not so much because I've been having a lot going on. I mean, a lot. So I haven't been able to practice. Same with digital painting. The more you practice with that, the better you will get. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for listening to my long rant, which I start at one thing and I end up at another thing. And that's how it goes here. So if you like that, hit <laughs> that subscribe button below and follow me here. It's KCatsArts. And follow me on Instagram at KCatsArts. If you want me to draw one of your pictures, I think I'm going to start a hashtag called hashtag draw me cats. Okay, cats arts. You guys let me know. It'll be hashtag draw me, draw me, draw me. Okay, cats arts. So you're asking me to draw you, but like the picture you've created, and then I'll do another one where I'll do a series where I like draw with me, um, and then you draw with me and hashtag me on that because I want to see what you guys create. I'm so interested because I've had some some of you send me pictures that you have recreated on my Instagram. So thank you so much. I mean, even in personal email, which is it, it's at kcatsart at gmail.com. Sorry, I have to remember on top of my head. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for all your love and have a fabulous weekend. Bye, guys.